Seven overtime wins is now the NCAA single season record. So we'll start with that. It's also a career high for a uh, season high for Ty. Who wants to go first with questions? <laughs> Tyler, I was wondering if you could walk us through the first couple minutes and just kind of getting hot early and how you felt out there? Um, my teammates. Uh, first of all, God is good. That's number one. Um, but my teammates, uh, they found me early, um, <clears throat> and they, they tend to. And, it's, you know, it's been like that all season. It's just, you know, up to me to make the shots. But, you know, I got great facilitators next to me and Cam and Art, and now Day Day's coming along. So um, they just make, make my job so much easier. Down the stretch, when you're shooting free throws, you just know they're going to go in. Um, just come from work, uh, and, and the good Lord, I can't can't take all the credit, but yeah, it just comes from work over time, and um, just wanting to be in those situations. I think the more you want those, the ball in those situations, uh, the more confidence it gives you. And once you see one go in, you know I start feeling good. So, like I said, I, I could take all the credit, but God is good. And just how does it feel to win another overtime game? Um, like Tank always says, we, he doesn't get paid for these. Overtime for these, so uh, you hate to be in these positions, but uh, you will, you will hate to be on the other side of it. So, just blessed to be in this position. Um, like I'm gonna keep saying that God is good and thankful for it. we're on the winning side, keeping our hopes alive, because uh, we know what we're fighting for. And you got to give a lot of credit to West Virginia. They came out and played in that second half and made it tough on us. And um, you know, we did a lot to beat ourselves also. So, just blessed to be in this position. Tyler, what would you say was the most nerve nerve wracking part about that second half? <clears throat> it's not really nervous, but it's just, you know, you just got to lock back in to what, you know, what you do to, you know, get, get, big, le get big leads like we had. And um, like we say all the time, we've been in these positions millions of times, as y'all know. So uh, it's not really about being nervous no more. It's about just be locking back in to who you are. And um, I think we did, you know, a very good job of that in the last minute and over time. Cam, you guys were red hot in the first half from three. What do you think that was? Um... Uh... You know, it come from, you know, like like TP said, uh, you know, we got to give all praise to God. And uh, it comes from hard work, too. Uh, we, you know, we practice those game shots, and, you know, they pay off in the game. <laughs> David, now that you guys have put a couple wins here together, what's it going to take to keep it rolling and uh, go on a run here late in the season? Um, focus. Uh, we can't lose our focus. Uh, we got to lock in our next opponent, which is Cincinnati. Uh, so I'm glad we got the dub, but now our focus goes to Cincinnati. Could you guys just talk about five to grind and how much that helps you guys win in overtime? It gets serious in practice. Like, it's, it's real. Um, <clears throat> so we try to simulate the game as much as we can. Like, we have the crowd knows going and everything. And so, um, you know, the biggest thing is just, you know, taking what we do every day in practice and, you know, putting into a game. And, you know, it's been paying off for us, and hopefully we don't keep having to be in that situation. After being th through so many of these now, do you, do you guys feel once you get to overtime though, that it's, that it's over? <laughs> I would like to say, we wouldn't say it was, it's over, but we, we feel pretty good about ourselves just because we, we practiced so hard all year. And um, testament to our, to our training staff and our, and our strength, and, uh, strength coach Coach Phil and just, you know, having that extra boost to keep going. Um, <clears throat> a lot of guys, a lot of teams tap out in, in a lot of these situations, and uh, I think we just have so much fight to keep going. And like I said, again, God is good. And what were you, how were you able to kind of refocus even the last 30 seconds or so of, of regulation after basically almost a historic <laughs> loss? Um, just we never see Coach Tane get rattled. And so if the head of the snake is not getting rattled, there's no reason for us to. And uh, in all those situations, um, we never see him crack ever. And so, um, you know, that gives us the confidence that we need. And um, just to see him um, saying calm, cool, and collected, it's easy for us to. 
David, <coughs> excuse me, David, it's the first time you've gotten to play Jesse, at least in, in, in the Big 12. I don't know when he was if he, when he was at Syracuse and you were at Virginia Tech if you guys ever played at all. But just how how was that with your guys' relationship and getting to see him again? Um, I mean, yeah, it was good seeing him. Always fun competing. Uh, we talked about it a lot in the summer when he was playing together on the national team. So obviously your first game he was hurt. That's unfortunate for him, but, you know, it was fun competing out there. <clears throat> and then how – now that you guys have, have a little bit of steam, which is something that you guys you hadn't really been able to pick up since the beginning of, of conference play, where, where, where's your guys' conf- confidence level right now heading into these final three games? You had a uh, <laughs> we never really lost our confidence. Um, it was just about putting the pieces back together. And this this is a tough league, and as we've seen all year, this is this is one game season, and you can't look past anybody. And in this league, you got to bring it every night because it's going to be one possession games, and we've preached that all year. And so, we never really lost our confidence. We just knew what we had to do, and um, <clears throat> like we've tweaked a couple things. And um, you know, I think it's always good to be playing your best basketball going into March. And then was it just a little bit of zone that they were playing in the first half that kind of got you guys? kind of moving downhill a little bit and in the three point shooting and kind of open open things up for you. Um I think just making the open pass. Uh like I said, they played a very good game, uh especially in the second half and you like I said, you gotta give credit to them, came in and fought. But uh just making the right play. Uh and I think when we do that, uh we're a very hard team to beat and we can score in a lot of different ways because we got so many different weapons. So just continue to make the right play, right make the right pass and um finding each other. David, I haven't gotten a chance to ask you this, but is there something about coming off the bench you think that suits your game and has helped you these last couple of weeks? Um, no, not, not necessarily. I mean, I have the same mindset going into the game. Uh, just play with energy and effort, and then the rest uh, going to bring itself. Um, no, I don't think so. And Tyler, I wanted to ask, uh, how motivating is it for you to have the NCAA tournament out there is still a possibility. How much does playing in that tournament mean to you? Um, I've said all year, um, there's no individual award that I want. There's no anything individually that I'm seeking. Uh, that four-letter tournament is the only thing that's on my mind. And not only just for me, but for these guys too. I know they want to get back. Um, they talk about it all the time, how much fun it was, and not just for the guys, but for the coaching staff. And so uh, biggest thing, it's not just about me, about what I want. Um, but about this team, because at the end of the day, I can't do it without them. And so, um, you know, it's just, it's, for me, it's just ent- emptying the tank right now. Um, I don't know how much basketball I got left after this. Nothing is promised for me. And so um, these are my last days in college. And so biggest thing is just emptying the tank. And um, whatever happens, I can, you know, walk off the court at the end of this and uh, with no regrets. And like I said, uh, I want to be able to get these guys back to wherever, to where they were and uh, go further. Cam, did you fight for that Raekwon battle assignment, defensive assignment, and what kind of conversations did you have around stopping him? Uh, you know, I always want to guard the best player. Uh, that's just a part of who I am, and, you know, I love to compete. And, you know, he played a really a pretty good game today. And, uh, <laughs> you know, you can't let a good player get hot like that. Tyler, since the Oklahoma game, I think you're averaging over 17 points, shooting over 37% from three. After the early season struggles, is there something that clicked during that part of the season and is kind of led to this point, or is it just basketball? You got to keep going, uh, no matter what. Um, no matter what, what's getting thrown at you, what people will say, um, you got to you got to keep going. And the uh, <clears throat> biggest thing is I've had such a great group of guys and coaching staff around me that's told me no matter what to just keep going. The work will always pay off and the uh, cream will always rise to the top. And so uh, there's so much left to do. Um, at the end of the day, regardless of what I'm shooting or what I'm doing, we got so much farther to go. And um, that's my biggest concern right now, whether I'm making shots or not. Um, like I said, I got to empty the tank. <coughs> yeah, Tyler also is wondering about having Day Day in the starting lineup, having another guy with kind of point guard experience, has that maybe allowed you to play off the ball a little more and, and getting some better looks? Um, that's just the genius of Coach Tang, uh, switching our lineups and um, 
you know, putting me in different different situations to, you know, maybe get cleaner looks. And um, that has come so far this season, and he's not a freshman no more. Um, he's took that turn, and he's took on the challenge of playing in the Big 12 as a freshman. We know how hard that can be, and um, <clears throat> I'm more than proud of him. And, um, you know, it's just about him continuing to get better, and like, and, and all of us, and uh, not only him, but my whole team, you know, they've, they've done such a good job to continue to, you know, find me and uh, give me open looks. <laughs> Big Vesta. Yeah, Cam, I was just wondering if you could maybe talk about what the season has been like having Tyler on this team. Uh, TP, you know, he is he he's always, you know, a shoulder you can lean on. Uh, you know, sometimes during games, I even ask him, like, can you pray with me? Because, you know, I trust him and, you know, he just give me that, that uplifting that I need. And, uh, you know, he's a, a great person and a great brother to me. He's got 20 plus points in four of the last eight games. Do you feel like he's emptying the tank right now? Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, like he said, you know, he's doing everything he can to get us back to where we was and further. Because, you know, we always tell him how fun it was. And, you know, I know he won a piece of that. Pause.